And only on NBC5 tonight, a woman is about to be reunited with her high school class ring after being without it for a dozen years. NBC5's Mariah Mills explains how the ring found its way home. Barbara Foster graduated from Crater High School in 1983. She lost her class ring around 2008, but had no idea where. My youngest daughter um, wanted to wear it. I'm not sure why, but um, so I was letting her wear it, and then she was done with it, and I put it in my coat pocket, and I think it must have fallen out. Last week, a post on Facebook about a crater class ring being discovered was shared over 30,000 times. People sent her messages about the ring, but she didn't realize they meant the class ring that she'd lost several years before. I didn't know what, what they were talking about, really, until I saw the post, and then I saw my ring, and I... Yeah, that was, it even has the little bend in it. It was discovered by Michelangelo Ramsey of Chico, California. He bought a 1968 Chevelle from the Brookings area that once belonged to Barbara and her husband. It was in the back seat after I pulled it out. It was underneath, sitting there on the floor, man. Ramsey says he's driven the car for the past decade. In the process, I've just started actually tearing apart the inside of the car. I've driven it for about eight years, so... It's time to restore it. He and his mom put the ring on social media in hopes of finding the owner. They had some good information to work with. The initials BKG, the graduation year, and the school name. They just needed a little help. In two days, Barbara Foster came forward and claimed it. I'm thrilled. I can't wait to, to get to see that again. I'm sure my finger is much bigger than that ring is now. But <laughs> in Medford, Mariah Mills, NBC5 News. Small world, but the world of social media, you never know. The ring is being sent in the mail from California. It's expected to return to Foster this week.